Faith that will ask intently. Faith that will pursue and not give up passionately. Faith that acts radically. Faith that will simply believe in spite of negative reports. Yes. Faith that will respond with a calm assurance that I'm going to trust Jesus. And he's going to lead me all the way to the point of my miracle. Brandon, will you uh, will you come and grab the guitar and just start um, playing that? I believe you're my healer. I believe you're more than enough for me, Jesus. You're all I need. We're going to respond. We're going to conclude this service now by uh, by praying that this same Jesus, Lord, who walked this planet 20 centuries ago, who Ascended to the right hand of God the Father. Now, they're in a position of praying for you and I and releasing His Spirit and that same anointing that was upon Him uh, available for us to experience and to receive. Uh, we're going to pray that if you're in need today, that Jesus, the same Jesus, touches you. Amen. Amen. Can that happen in this room today? Yes. Amen. Come on, let's stand together. Do not be afraid of Jesus' words. Only believe. If you uh, if you need need prayer today, and uh, again, we don't know the context of your, your need, its nature, all I know is that Jesus is able to touch any and every need. Amen? Amen. Amen. <laughs> Whether you may not be accustomed to uh, the practice of coming to an altar, it may be new, it may be foreign, it may, you may be visiting, uh, we're going to invite you to come. Ask for uh, some of the elders and, and uh, dad as a minister who want to come as well. We're just gonna we're gonna just begin to pray. If you if you need God's touch today, <coughs> we often think of God's touch only for physical healings, but if, and of course He's ready to do that as we've seen. But if you need Him today, because there's a, a need in your your home in your life, there's a need. On some level today, just, just come on forward right now. Just come on forward right now. Be like that woman who said, I, I, I'm going to get to Jesus. I, I don't care what people think. I'm not going to be embarrassed because I have a need. I'm going to reach out and touch Jesus today. And reach out and touch Jesus today. So elders, if you just want to begin to just quickly begin to lay your hands on these people, those that have come, you just gotta you gotta begin to ask intently right now. You gotta begin to reach out like that woman did. Ask like Jerry is did. Jesus, I'm desperate. I need. You know the need. If you want to name the need right now, name it out. If it's for another person, name their name. If it's for a physical healing, declare it out. If it's for a financial miracle, if it's for a need for employment, if it's for your relationship. Uh, son, daughter, wayward family, just uh, unsaved loved ones. Just begin to pray it out. Just begin to pray it out in Jesus' name. And now, Jesus, your word is very clear that, that you were anointed with the Holy Spirit. The Spirit of the Lord is upon me because he has anointed me to preach the gospel, to heal the sick, to heal the broken hearted, recovery of sight to the blind, to set at liberty those that are bruised, those that are bound, Jesus, that same anointing that rested upon you, you have given to us. <laughs> you were, you're the head, we're the body, and that anointing that flowed from the head, Psalm 133 says it flows to the to the body, down the the the, the loins, the the the, the 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 skirt of Aaron, and down on his body. That's us. 
That same anointing that you operated in while you were here is available today. And so I pray now in the name of Jesus as that woman reached out and, and drew upon that anointing, that, that healing virtue, I pray now that we would just begin to reach out to you in faith. And whatever the need is now, there would be a release of that same healing anointing, that burden removing, yoke destroying, affliction ending,
provider. You're our supplier. You're our healer. You're our wisdom. You're our direction. So, Father, today, we just thank you in Jesus' name. Come on, can you lift your hands in the air and just say thank you to Jesus, God?